Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Maybelline Superstay foundation stick, which I've never used a foundation stick before, so this is like a whole new experience for me right now. I went to Ulta today and I wanted to pick up some new foundations. I saw this and I was like, OMG, I have to try this. The normal Maybelline Superstay that I have here in shade 112, it is pretty good. I mean, I like it. it you definitely need a mattifying primer with it, like for sure, 100%. So I was like, okay, if I like this, I might like this. So I'm gonna try it out today. Supposedly it has all of like, the same claims as the other one that it's like 24 hours and full coverage all right so i'm super excited to try this i don't know if i should use my sponge or the real techniques buffing brush like i don't know which one i should use i guess i could do like half sponge half brush and test it out and see okay hello and welcome to my face so I'm gonna go in with the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I'm just gonna do a little bit of primer on the T-zone area. So like here, here, and up here. The Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. This is how much product you get in the foundation. Um, total comes out to seven grams. So. 0.25 ounces so you get a quarter of an ounce of product which is pretty crazy this retails for $13.99 and you're getting a quarter of the product that you would normally get with a one fluid ounce uh, liquid foundation but I mean we're gonna see how this works maybe it's worth it I'm gonna do one two three one there and one, two there. And I'm just gonna go in and go to town. Oh my God. This might not be the foundation's fault. This might be me because I think I got a little sunburned last week when I went to uh, the lake. So I'm peeling right here, but the foundation is like really picking that up really badly. Zoom in. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is super, like, not cute. See that? That was a little bit of a disaster, and I think that the brush is, like, not making it any better, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the sponge. One, two, three, four, five. This is kind of fun. Again, I've never used a stick foundation before, so this is like really new for me. And it looks like it's pretty much matching my skin pretty well. Um, again, this is shade 112, so it should be the same shade as the other Maybelline liquid foundation. So honestly, it's not that bad and it's really not blending that bad either. Like, I could do this. I could deal with this. It, it kind of like is a natural matte finish. Okay, I'm gonna go in this side with the sponge and fix it up. So this is the second layer. We're gonna go one, two, three. One here, one there, one there. And I'm just gonna blend out with the sponge this time on this side and see if that works out better. Um, it's not covering my scar very well, so that kind of sucks. So that was what, two layers? So I have dry patches right here, dry patch right here. This side is looking pretty good. Forehead looks pretty good. Pimples coming through a little bit. My scar is definitely coming through. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Concealer and I'm just gonna try and cover up this right here. And I'm gonna blend the concealer out. Um, I'm scared to like set it. I don't know if I should set it or not. Like, ooh, I don't know. I'm going to though because in all my other foundation videos, I always keep the same routine. I set my face. Hopefully I don't regret this. 
I mean, that would really suck if I like did all my makeup and I had to wash it off because it was awful. All right, so I just set my foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my butter bronzer that I just bought and my butter blush. I'm so excited. Oh, it smells so good. I love this bronzer. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy a new one because I really love the way it smells. So I went to Ulta today and they had like so much uh, new makeup. It's pretty crazy. I actually used to be into makeup a lot more when I was younger. And the older I'm getting, I'm kind of more getting into like lifestyle stuff like food and um, decorations and I don't know, I'm just like not into makeup like I used to be. Like I still love makeup. I love, 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 love makeup. But like I don't have that like crazy like oh my god I need to go buy that palette like right now or I'm gonna die attitude anymore. Honestly the newest palette that I have is the Jaclyn Hill palette. Like that's that's it. It's the newest one that I have. I'm super excited to try this new uh, Physicians Formula blush. Look at how cute this is. Oh my god. It's like pink and green and giving me like vibes. And the color that I picked is called Vintage Rouge. All right, and I'm gonna get my blush brush and just put that on. I have a sad life right now. Tell me why my Becca Champagne Pop is shattered and my Mary Luminizer by The Balm is also shattered. So, yay. <laughs> Because both of those are shattered, I have my Cindy Luminizer, which is sort of like a pinky uh, highlighting shade, and so I'm gonna go in with that because all my other ones are broken. And it's just like, it's like a, it has like a pinky undertone, so I think it would go really well with this blush that I just put on. I think you could probably also use this as like a blush topper as well. When I was at Ulta today, I picked up the Gimme Brow by Benefit, which I've never used any Benefit products before. And the lady recommended the Gimme Brow in 4.5. I've never used this before, so I'm kind of like, I'm a little nervous. This is the brush. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. This little brush is like super tiny. And I'm just gonna go in and go for it. Ooh, man, this eyebrow is slaying life right now. Dang. All right, I gotta catch this one up now. I'm back, I have my full face on. What do I think? Well, um, I do have a little bit of oils coming through, which might be the Angel Veil Primer, it might be because I'm sweaty, it might be because this foundation is oily. Um, it is matte, but there is some oil coming through. This is highlight right here. It's clinging on to a lot of my dry patches right here and right here on the uh, cheekbone area. I'm not a normally dry, crackly skin type, other than that, I like this actually. And I think that this might be a really good foundation to wear um, if you need to run out the door because you basically do one, two, three stripes, one, two, three stripes, blend it in. And it's like a really nice natural coverage. Or you could also just do the liquid foundation and do one, two pumps on the face and be like, done so i think that the whole concept of this they were trying to come up with a contour stick type of all-purpose stick foundation and they did a pretty good job i mean it's decent coverage and it does look pretty good i like it we'll see how it lasts throughout the day um i'll try and do a check-in with you guys later on to see if it's like being oily um, right now it is 2 30 in the afternoon so maybe I'll check in around like 5 or 6 you guys can see uh, what it looks like in a couple hours I am loving this lip by the way do you guys remember early on in my channel I would do red lips all the freaking time I love doing this lip like this is the perfect 
summery red lip. It is number three Sephora cream lip stain. I love it. I love this color. It's so pretty. All right, guys. So I'll check in with you guys later and we can see how the foundation is holding up. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, sorry I didn't do a proper sit down ending review for you of the foundation. Um, as you can see, I just woke up from a nap right now. I'm literally rubbing like mascara off of my cheek. <laughs> uh, right now I'm actually uh, packing because I'm gonna go to California, so that's why I didn't do like a proper sit down review. Um, overall, I really like this foundation. It's not super oily and I don't know, I feel like the coverage is pretty decent. The only problem I had was the chin area, obviously it doesn't look that great uh, because of the dry patch that I had there, but honestly I would wear this foundation again and I actually do like it. And yeah, so I love you guys, I'll see you later, bye!